there are three factors. Three factors and they, each and every single one of them has a different weight of importance when it comes to building the muscle. Let's get into those. So whenever you are training in the gym, right, you're performing your exercises, you're performing your sets, your reps, the, you, you design a routine tailored for you in order to develop your body, right? These three factors play an important role whenever you're building the muscle. I'm going to tell you each and every single one of them, and I'm going to tell you which one has more importance than the other. We're gonna start off with the less important one and we're gonna move on to the most important one. And I'm going to give you details as to how to approach each and every single one of them, okay? So the first factor is called, it's, it's the weight. You see a lot of people in the gym going in there with an the ego lifting mentality. That ego lifting mentality is going to ruin your results. Now, you see all these people that just go in there, right, and pick the heaviest weight they can find in order to perform the exercise. They're just moving the weight around. And even though uh, heavy weight is one of, the, one of the things that you can manipulate in order to uh, give a reason to that muscle to develop, it's not the most important one. And it's actually one of the reasons why people get injured because they, they decide to go with the heaviest one, the heaviest weight that they can find. And since their muscle is not used to or hasn't even tried performing that, that um, weight before, it's very easy to see injury when you have this approach. So whenever you're choosing the weight, my suggestion for you guys to, my, my suggestion for you guys would be to actually pick the weight that is more moderate in terms of heaviness. Instead of going completely heavy or completely light, just pick one that is moderate that you can control. And that way you can get most benefit out of that rep, out of that set, out of that exercise. Okay? So the factor with the less important one, with the less importance is going to be the weight. The weight that you choose for that exercise. The second factor and the second most important one is going to be the time of the tension. There's a big difference between performing a barber curl with this uh, with this speed as opposed to controlling it, you know, bringing the weight explosively uh, on a one second explosive on the way up and three seconds on the way down. Those three seconds on the way down is the most important part of the rep. That is called the negative part of the rep. And that negative part of the rep is where the muscle is most stressed because it needs to control that weight against gravity. Gravity is pulling that weight down and that muscle needs to control it on the way down. So when, whenever that, mu that weight is going all the way down and that muscle is, control is controlling that weight, it's going to be a lot of tearing of that muscle during those uh, repetitions. So whenever you're you know, choosing the time on the tension, aim to have a one second explosiveness on the way up and three seconds of, of, of controlling on the way down. So time on the tension is one of the, one of the, uh, one of the factors that has uh, more, more weight in terms of importance. Keep that in mind whenever you're, uh, when you're going to your next workout, okay? So we got the weight, uh, less importance, then we got uh, time and detention, and then the one that has the most importance and the one that you should give more attention to is the form, the form of the exercise. Whenever you're performing a, for example, again, a, a, a barber curl, there's a big difference between performing it, moving your elbows around and your shoulders around, then, then sticking those elbows right next to your body, keeping your back straight, keeping your chest up, and then performing the exercise. There's a big difference. You will see a lot of, uh, you, you will see a big difference uh, in terms of results when you take this approach of controlling and learning, taking the time to learn the form of the exercise. Just try it out, you know. Do both, both extremes. Take a, take a, for example, a rubber curl, and perform it just like this, right? You know, swinging your, your elbows around, swinging your shoulders around, and then take a, a, a lighter to moderate weight, keeping your elbows right there next to your body, keeping your shoulders there, chest up, and then perform the exercise. You will notice that, that the one that I just mentioned, you're gonna get more pain. You're gonna feel more pain. You're gonna feel more pump. More blood is going to be rushing to that muscle, which is good. Whenever that blood is rushing to the muscle, the fibers of that muscle is going to break even more. Right? And then with the rest of the nutrition when you come home, it's going to give, it's going to supply that demand and that muscle is going to grow even more. So say that your your next workout is your chest, whatever, whatever your, your your next workout should be. Place the emphasis on the form first. Right? Get that nailed. Control that 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 form. Whenever you got that down, incorporate a little bit of the time on the tension. One second of explosive on the way up, 
three seconds of control on the way down. Now you got two factors on your on your side. And then when you when those two are completely nailed, when you have dominated those two factors, then incorporate more weight, right? If you can uh, if you um, incorporate more weight. Now what I want you to do is whenever that weight is jeopardizing these two these other two factors, the weight needs to come down. The only way that you can increase your weight and get the most out of the rep or the exercise is whenever these two factors are not compromised okay so try those out try those uh tips out let me know what you guys thought follow me on all social media platforms and i will see you guys in the next video thank you guys for subscribing thank you guys for your support i'll see you guys in the next video and if you want to learn how to build muscle lose fat stay healthy consider watching the following videos make sure to subscribe like share and i'll see you on the next video